Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the Dow Academy Online Learning. We look forward to seeing you all back in class. But for now, stay home, stay safe. And remember to always wash your hands with soap for at least 20 seconds. Let's begin. Hello, four fives. We are going to revise the Cuban Missile Crisis. And we are going to focus on how it started. I would like you all to look carefully at the map on page 114 in the textbooks that you have so that you are able to locate the position of Cuba in relation to America. Uh, you will find that uh, Cuba is very close to America and that is why some historians say that um, Cuba is right on America's doorstep. I hope you still remember the revolution of 1959 when Fidel Castro seized power from the corrupt dictator Batista who was begged by the Americans. Because Batista was very corrupt, many Cubans did not like him and his regime was very unpopular. When Castro came into power, he had three main aims. Uh, one of the aims was to improve Cuban prosperity, especially the lives of the peasants who were working on the land and in the sugar mills owned by the American companies. He also wanted to end corruption and terror in Cuban politics. And he also wanted to help the oppressed people in other countries in the region. So you will find that um, Castro did not only want to help his own people, the Cubans, but he also wanted to even help the people who were found in that region. Uh, when Castro came into power, he appointed communists to the government and he signed trade agreements with the USSR. The Cubans were going to give USSR sugar and in return, USSR was going to provide Cuba with oil, machinery and economic aid. Then one thing that made the Americans very angry was that Castro nationalized all American companies in July 1961. He also took American-owned businesses, especially agricultural land, and he redistributed it to the supporters uh, of the communists. And how did the Americans now respond to this? America was very hostile to Castro because they regarded themselves as the dominant power in that region and they wanted it to remain like that. Then uh, they also didn't like Castro because he was receiving Soviet support and his policies threatened American companies. So the Americans decided to refuse to buy Cuban sugar. They also decided to end all trade with Cuba. Then they cut off all diplomatic relations with Cuba in 1961. In addition to all this, America started to support Cuban exiles in an attempt to remove Castro from power. In our next lesson, we'll look at uh, how the Americans helped the uh, Cubans, those who opposed Castro to try and remove him from power in um, what you already know as the Bay of Pigs operation. So till next time, bye.